Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to the last December reading that I have for you guys. I meant to upload yesterday um, and I never got around to it because I was busy being creative and I just said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to take time to myself. I kind of forgot and uh, yeah. So Virgo, just a heads up for those that do watch, I want to say thank you for this year. It's been awesome. I have a lot of Virgo watchers that come and check out my channel. I really appreciate you guys. And I will be going live later today for a little New Year's Eve uh, energy update and answering Q&A and maybe even doing questions for a set number of questions. All right. So pay attention to that. You'll see that come up later. All right. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to look at past, present, and future energy, and then we're going to get into clarifying. All right, we have past energy, action. Ooh, we have the world. Oh, Virgo, I like this in your present energy. And one more. The temple path in the reverse. Okay, I'm getting the temple path a lot right now. Um, I feel a lot of people are actually being called in the present to explore their uh, spiritual side a lot more or they're being awakened to certain things okay so in your past energy with action i feel some of you made a choice all right this is like the chariot card almost right now it's like you guys literally decided i'm going towards something i'm gonna go straight towards it and it, i'm gonna leave behind some shit Okay, here with the world. Some of you moved really quickly and decisively towards either a new start or a new version of yourself. You stepped through that portal and you did it fast. It's like jumping through the portal, okay? I feel you guys jumped through a portal and you went through and now you are faced with your temple path, okay? But we've got it in the reverse. So it's almost like jumping through that portal and your feet are not really firmly planted. And now you're realizing, um, oh shit, uh, this is actually harder than I thought. Some of you are doing shadow work. I just saw the red word shadow work pop up in my head, okay? Some of you guys may be doing some kind of shadow work and you're not really sure how exactly to do it because this new version of yourself, you moved quickly into it. Some of you may be having some kind of awakening process going on or at least you're just exploring now and you're feeling topsy-turvy on your spiritual path, okay? So let's go ahead. I also just heard some of you guys are like um, having an issue integrating this new facet of yourself into your daily life, okay? That's tough, that is tough. But I am very curious about this past energy with action because I think some of you maybe were feeling like you knew you were pretty balanced but then once you jumped through into that new version or new experience it it was like whoa oh my god okay that was quick so this was very fast for you virgo tell me about action please lovers that's what happened you guys chose a relationship or something along these lines okay and you went fast uh, some of you, I feel you rush towards someone, all right? You just kind of, you were like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done playing games when I'm doing this. And boom, I made a choice. I'm making a choice. And you moved quickly towards that choice. And you jumped through. And now it's kind of like you got that momentum slowed down with the temple path here in reverse. And you guys ever seen that show, Million Dollar Man? <laughs> like, I, I keep thinking of that for some reason. But yeah. <laughs> is that million dollar man i don't know but yeah that's that's what i'm talking about here you guys really just kind of you made a choice you made a love choice you made a choice in life that really affected you and it was for your betterment here with the world some of you moved okay with the world and action you moved towards and moved in uh, towards this person and moved in with them or you moved to a new location to be closer to them or you just literally thought for yourself i need to move because i want new love so i'm going to move to a new place let's see tell me about the world card in the present energy okay we have ace of swords virgo yeah this was a new start for you based on truth and honesty and wisdom whatever it was that you decided to do and in your current energy you're being very truthful about this decision and what it is that you made you made so i'm hearing some of you put a stop to those who were trying to stop you from making a choice about your future you were just like no i you can't stop me this is what i want i'm going forward i'm going towards it and i think that yeah look at this we have the wheel of fortune here on the bottom of the deck this was you choosing a new cycle and being supported at the same time 
the beautiful thing is, is that when we start this in your present energy, it's a whole brand new start that's truthful, okay, that makes sense to you, um, is that once there's that big jump and that energy of us jumping into something really quickly, there is a quick slowdown or there is a realization. Something hits us and then we suddenly realize, oh shit, there's there's something either I missed or there's something that I need to focus on. This I'm I'm off balance now. Okay, so it's like whatever you did so fast and so quickly and you did it decisively. I'm I'm seeing this here. I I'm seeing a Virgo um I don't know why I'm seeing I'm seeing pumpkins maybe you did this around October some of you guys may have done this around October I keep seeing pumpkins or someone likes pumpkins or and now I'm seeing pumpkin socks I don't know what that has to do with anything maybe maybe you have socks with pumpkins on them I don't know but um somebody really likes Halloween stuff uh, so anyway <laughs> enough with the pumpkins I see them already okay so what's happening here is I feel some of you are just you're trying to gain that energy back that it took for you to be able to to, to just jump you know you're, you're trying to to do that and, and I did also see someone in a car with like a bunch of stuff on top of the car um, I'm getting a lot of imagery right now for Virgo I'm just I'm seeing moving um, I'm seeing phone calls I'm seeing a lot of just different images of someone just it's almost uh somebody maybe was going to be homeless uh this is i'm seeing something kind of play out right now it's like someone was going to be homeless but um they made a quick decision to made you had to make a quick choice to go somewhere else that's really odd that's kind of familiar to a situation i was in recently okay so let's see okay high priestess in reverse just flew out i was about to clarify your future energy yeah uh this is this is definitely has to do with the temple path here whatever it was that happened it blew you you know kind of sky high from your your temple path your spiritual path or your growth whatever it was that you were following some of you i hear it it, it threw you for a real loop because it was like you just felt completely imbalanced and um there may have been a situation around this where uh there was a huge fight there was a huge fight that happened or you discovered a secret around somebody here. That's what I'm seeing with a high priestess that forced you out of what it was, your your comfort zone, okay? And then we have two swords in the reverse. Yeah, um, I think whatever the situation was here and your future energy, you're going to start kind of having to address whatever this secret or this mystery was that was happening, okay? Because, like I said, what can happen is when we make a fast-moving choice and we move forward, it's almost like the stuff from behind us is trying to catch up. So it's almost like this is playing catch-up with the pain and the secrets and the mystery. Uh, we've got three of coins here in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Something, you had a falling out with someone. Okay, yeah, ace of cups right here in the reverse. Um, so Virgo, whoever this was that you had a falling out with, this is why you're feeling kind of shaky because the energy right now for you that I'm picking up on is like past shit has not been dealt with because it was such a quick momentum. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull three more cards. Let's see. Tell me about the past energy. I want a little bit more on the past energy. And you guys may have moved uh, because you made a decision to go towards someone new. Okay, you made a, it was all about, based around love and a decision and a new truth for you. All right. And in the past energy, you really just, there was something that hurt you. And so you wanted to move towards love and you made a decisive actions towards it. Okay, we have seven of pentacles here. Yeah, there... <laughs> There was a situation, okay, that had a lot of fucking potential or has a lot of fucking potential that you move towards, all right? And I do feel there was a secret either with this person or the person you jumped towards. Wow, see, that's really shit if that happened to you, Virgo. Um, like, you made a choice towards someone. I don't want to say they played you. You made a choice. You knew, you thought it was honest and you moved towards it. This the way the more this uh, reading unfolds, the more I'm feeling like this is why the simple path is here. You don't trust yourself now. 
Tell me more about the world card and present energy. Yeah, four of wands. There was stability here. There's stability here in your present energy. Okay. Um, tell me about the future energy, please. We've got nine of swords. Yeah, there is something, I hate to say this, but there may be something some of you have not figured out yet. Okay. And if you have figured it out and now it's catching up to you what happened or what decision you've made and how it's it's actually impacted your life and impacted you. Some of you are, are, are just now realizing, oh shit, like uh, you're starting to have sleepless nights. There's, your, your intuition is trying to, you know, tell you something. Okay. So I feel Virgo, whatever's going on here. Okay. Connect with your path, connect with your soul. Okay. Connect with your intuition, get back on the, get back on the ball of that. Because I think some of you, like I said, there was a quick decisive thing and now suddenly everything is catching up or you're learning things and, um, the energy scattered. Okay. That's how I feel about it. It's, it's very, very scattered. Let's get you some advice with Moonology deck, please. Whoa. Okay, that's way too many. Or is that? That's two. Okay, we've got adjustments are required. All right? It's like I was just saying a second ago. Yeah, adjust adjust your course here before you get a little more chaotic and off course. Um, there, is, there is something here that maybe you're either you're missing or... The, like I said, the energy is very scattered. Footing. Get your footing. Okay? That's, that's, that's all I can really say here. We have a new romantic cycle begins in your present energy. So yes, you are in love. You are loving someone um, fully. You know, so whoever it was in the past or whatever secrets or maybe a secret that hasn't been revealed yet about past person that you have not learned yet okay you're about to learn so there's like three different virgo uh energies here that i'm reading for let's get one more for future energy we have your commitment is being tested <laughs> oh man what can i say i don't want to go a little f any further into that okay you will know what that means let's get one more one more. We're going to get you a lover's card, Virgo. Wait. Oh, don't rush into it and allow nature to take its course. Yeah, some of you, be careful how quickly you move. Or, you know, this could literally be like in this past energy you rushed and you got stability and you've got a relationship. And then, you know, now it's kind of like slow down. Just slow down. Like this energy is so scattered. I can feel it. Let's get, I want to get you one more. Tell me about future energy, please, with a lover's card. <sighs> Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will transform. Okay, so, you know, I don't think this is a case of like cheating or anything like that. I, uh, or, or, you know, but I, I do feel there is still an air of mystery that has blown you scattered like this that's all over the place that i think that some of you need to like i said get balanced okay get get like plant your feet plant your feet for a minute stop driving the car stop driving the chariot chill 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 just a little bit <laughs> okay virgo all right that's what i have for you today and i will see you guys later bye